Okay, we'll be benchmarking the Venom 2 X4840 today. It's a CPU I've been using in my music production uh, rig. Uh, it's, it's adequately fine for that. It's still adequately fine for that. There's no, uh, there's still a, a bit of CPU uh, headroom. I'd say about a third to a quarter of the way before in uh, Alberton Live. I don't really get any problems with that. This before, before it goes on in life, it's replaced by something else. It's probably best to, to uh, benchmark it. I haven't seen any other pages on YouTube benchmarking this uh, processor, so it's probably uh, be a good one to bench. P probably run Cinebench R15 and maybe some uh, Sandra results as well for the CPU. Uh, before anyone uh, asks, I don't know how this processor performs when it comes to gaming. I've never used it for gaming. This rig has got a passively called um, HD5450 graphics card in there, an AMD card in there, mainly because it's passively cooled. Um, there's no noise of any fans or anything like that for when you're, uh, you know, producing music and things. So it's good for that. Also, um, it's adequately fine for what we need it for. If you just want to display, that's going to display the two screens and things like that you know uh, with an adequate amount of RAM I think what's this work was a one gigabyte or a two gigabyte card something like that one gigabyte something like that um, which is perfectly adequate for what we want um, obviously it's going to be limited by the limitations of that card so if you pair it you'd have to probably pair it with a better card than that um, or a slightly better card than that anyway to uh, get any kind of gaming results with that so we probably won't be doing any of that today just a side note, I know everybody was going um, mad about the G, uh, the Pentium G4560 uh, being you know, a fast CPU, dual core, uh, four threaded, hyper threaded CPU and all the bells, uh, going on about all the bells and whistles of that CPU for its cost, I think it was about £60. I was gathering from what people were saying that it was probably still going to be um, a faster CPU than this one. It is apparently a faster CPU. Um, somebody tested a similar Phenom that was clocked um, at this speed. It wasn't the exact same processor, so I can, so that's another reason, a good reason for this test, so we can test the actual this actual processor itself. But I think the the Pentium was only a little bit faster than this, um, probably about something like 60 marks in R in Cinebench R15 or something like that. If I can remember, so it probably it really wouldn't be worth spending 60 pound on the on a CPU. And uh, again on another motherboard, 60 to 70 pound for the uh, for the Pentium, along with some DDR RAM, to um, get a, a minor upgrade on this. So it's probably best just leaving this uh, Phenom CPU in there until um, a, an even better uh, upgrade down the line. So uh, in case, case anybody was wondering, um, it's probably not worth it, but we'll see with these results. Okay, so we can see it's not the blistering performance that we would have expect uh, from newer CPUs. But I think, like we say, I think we we can expect that anyway. We was aware that you know it's going to be the ballpark that it's going to be performing in. But you know, it's still adequate. It does the job, uh, the job for the task at hand here. Uh, for me, yeah, there are better CPUs, and Intel CPUs in general do perform better for uh, music production. Do like to have at least one rig that's uh, an AMD architecture and another rig that is um, an Intel uh, architecture in the house um, technically there's uh, you know two of each I think but two or three of each but uh, I uh, would probably upgrade this with the uh, with the Xeon uh, rig that I'm using now in the uh, in the other room uh, in down the line in the future but um, you never know 
but it does the job for now. Uh, before it goes, we we know how it performs. The system is actually housed in this um, tiny little um, micro ATX chassis that I uh, built it in. You can actually fit a full sized. Um, can't see there, maybe because it's a bit dark. We can actually fit um, a full sized. Um, Optical drive in there, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's all right. It does the it does the job, keeps me. No, I do, I do have room underneath for uh, obviously I could stick a bigger tower under there if I really wanted to, but this allows me where it is here, it fits just down the side perfectly. Allows me to um, grab at everything and things like that, loading samples and uh, DVDs and things like that into there. So uh, although most of my samples are on a on a on a hard drive in there, but um, the platform itself has actually been okay for that. There are faster platforms there, like we know, especially now, but uh, it still does perform uh, adequately well. I still do have the uh, my old i7 860, which is actually better performing than the Pentium and um, i3. I can't remember what it is, something or other. Um, you know that kind of thing. So if I was looking to upgrade. In that kind of sense, anyway, I would be probably be stupid because I've already got the a faster CPU um, lying around, even at stock. Uh, the way that the music programs work, it can take um, advantage of the uh, the cores and the hyper threading things that the i60, even at stock, would have. Obviously, though, in this chassis, I would need um, a micro ATX, a tiny motherboard, and um, a heatsink. That was going to, um, even though it could be running on, even if I'm running it out of stock, a heatsink that's going to, you know, fit within the chassis uh, limits, like the stock AMD one does. That's um, for the uh, there for the Phantom 2 840. Uh, I do actually have another. I recently sold one, but I do have the uh, the uh, the board that the i60 was on, which is uh, was the ASRock um, P55 Deluxe. I have actually got another ASRock P55 Deluxe here, but the um, some of the MOSFETs uh, went south when a, a dodgy, um, cheapo PSU um, failed um, on that particular rig that that was on. So um, if I can if I can get that repaired, it's possible that I might drag an old um, tower out the uh, closet and put it um, down under there. Although it does get in the way of my my legs when I'm under there, but uh, you, you never know. Um, but for now it's been an adequate uh, CPU performer, obviously it's going to carry on being for the time being.